a handwritten letter to District Attorney Hosea Knowlton, known as HK-216, published by the Fall River Historical Society's The Knowlton Papers. Letter handwritten in ink, accompanied by newspaper clipping. Boston, June 11, 1893. District Attorney Knowlton, Dear Sir, I hope you will pardon me from troubling you even so much as to ask you kindly to read this letter. But I'm so anxious of your success that I am constrained to write and ask you to be sure and not lose sight for a moment of the burnt dress, for that one mentioned was evidently the great and damning evidence of the terrible crime. Did you ever in the cross-examinations ascertain when and where the paint was used, which made the spot as alleged? It was strange, wasn't it? So many stories were told about the visit to the barn. There have never been any two statements alike. Governor Robinson seems to have cheek enough to try every time and set you back as of no account. It is not the custom to give each side fair play. It seems to one who reads that you are not treated fairly. I remember once going to see Hella the Prestidigitator, who called attention to the umbrella in the far corner of the hall. I said to a friend, Did you see that? The answer was, Don't you see that the trick was to divert attention from the more important one on the stage? And so it was. Don't let anything take your attention from the burned dress. A woman who could thrive under imprisonment for so many months is hardened enough to have committed just such a crime. And it is to be hoped she will be punished, even if she is a woman. Governor Robinson will get his fat fee as there is money enough in the Borden estate. He can afford to work hard. This is only to help you. Pardon me. I am for the right also. Always, sincerely, one who reads, but only a woman. I enclose a clipping which I think quite just.